Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel for MLB The Show 22, and the first video officially of MLB The Show 22. Today, we are going to go through the Legends pack, the Takashi Okazaki pack. I'm going to go with how that's pronounced. And we're going to go through the Legends one by one. The card art looks sick, so we're going to go through them, and then we're going to rank them. Uh, there's only five, so this shouldn't be a super long video. This card art, I'm going to say this probably a couple times in this video, is some of the best card art I think we've ever seen. So this is a great job uh, by the artist, clearly. Uh, yeah, so we're going to just we're gonna hop into it. We're going to go from left to right, starting with Randy Johnson. Like and subscribe if you guys are new, by the way. We're going to do a lot of these rankings. There's just too many to pump out in, like, one morning. So we're going to start with this, and then, like, a pack opening, and then, like, the cover athlete stuff, and then we're going to start doing some debuts and all kinds of stuff. We're probably going to stream throughout the weekend, so hit subscribe if you guys are into that kind of stuff. But first up, Randy Johnson, 93 stamina, 80 hits per nine, 100 Ks per nine. He is a new legend. They showed a clip of him pitching in the DD stream, I believe, and he looks like he's going to be a problem to hit, even like low-rated Randy Johnsons. Uh, he's going to throw pretty hard. He does have 99... Uh, pitch velocity, and I would bet he has outlier. Does he? He may not. The 99 probably does. This one doesn't. He's still going to throw about 100 miles an hour. His slider is going to be very difficult to hit uh, with that lefty. Like He was a side armor, and that is replicated in the game, so he's going to be tough to hit. He's got a slider, a slurve. Those are my two least favorite kind of breaking pitches to hit, but he doesn't have a sinker, so they did kind of bail us there. This is honestly a pretty good starting pitcher's card to start the year next guy up is chase utley and this is a decent second baseman in my opinion he's nothing crazy but he's a he's a pretty good starting second baseman to start the year he's pretty well balanced he's going to be a pretty good fielder for you he's got 67 speed he's just he's balanced he's not going to hit tanks he's not going to hit for a crazy average unless you're pretty good at the game he does as i recall have a pretty sweet swing uh, but his attributes are nothing crazy, although they're not terrible. 90 and 77 to start the game is not terrible. The power numbers are a little low, but also he wasn't really a power hitter in real life, so it's not a huge issue. 81 vision, you can get away with this early in the year. Uh, he's very well balanced. He's got 99 uh, breaking up of double plays at second base ability. That's a hidden ability, if you guys weren't aware. Uh, but yeah, Chase Utley is here. Ricky Henderson is very solid. He's got pretty good contact across the board. 80 is later in the year. 80 is where you want the cutoff to be. At the beginning of the year, that can be a little bit lower. But this Ricky Henderson card is going to be very usable throughout the year. In in ranked, he'll get outpaced. But in BR and events, he's going to be very good throughout the year. Uh, his power numbers are a little bit low. But again, 99 speed plays on any difficulty. His arm is a little bit low. The fielding the fielding is a little bit deceiving, I think, on this card, because 74 fielding is, like, okay. It's not great. It's not good, but it's, like, it's passable, you know? Uh, but with 99 speed, I think that elevates him more realistically to play, like, a mid-80s fielding, uh, especially with the reaction being 84. His first step on the ball is going to be very good. So he's going to be able to flag down a lot of balls in the outfield. Profile's more of a... He profiles more as a center fielder, in my opinion, than a left fielder. But, obviously, you can play him anywhere in the outfield. I would keep him out of right, though, because that arm strength is tough. Next guy up here is Mickey Mantle. He's a switch hitter. He is probably the best hitter of the group, at least of the ones we have looked at thus far. This one is tempting. He has a weird stance. I could not figure it out last year, but... There are plenty of people who did, and he is a pretty good card. He has pretty good contact and power numbers. Uh, I mean, the fielding is okay. It's not great. He's got 82 speed, which more than makes up for the 70 fielding. Uh, he's got a decent arm. You can play him in center or left. I think there's better options for right field. Uh, but center or left, he could you could certainly get away with him playing. And for an early like game outfield if you're no money spent this is a pretty good card and the last one here of course is vladimir guerrero 
he has a really good swing in game. I don't know what it is. He always seems to play above his attributes. And Vlad, in this card as an 88, is going to be very good throughout the year in BR and events. But also, he's going to be on your ranked team for a while. Uh, 80, 94 contact versus righties, 81 versus lefties. 76, 70 power isn't crazy, but his swing plays a little bit better than that, in my opinion, or it has in previous games. I haven't gotten to use him yet. Uh, 60 fielding is tough. I'm not going to lie to you. You're going to have to play him in right. You're going to have to pair him probably with a pretty fast center fielder like a Ricky Henderson. He's not going to get to a lot of balls. Uh, but it, when he does, his arm is phenomenal. So just kind of keep that in mind. He is a very, very good card early in the year. So if we were going to rank these, my thought is that if we start from one, I think there's two, I think there's three that you could tie for one. I think that Randy Johnson, assuming that you do not have a God Squad, is going to be a very good pitcher for you. Like, this is your ace for the first month or two of the season while you're figuring it out. Like, there's 87 Jack Lighters out right now, who seems like he's going to be at least decent for early year. But I think if you need a starting pitcher, and starting pitchers are tough because you only get to use them once every four or five games, but this is going to be a very good option for you if in your packs before this, you did not get a good starting pitcher. This is a good ace to start the year. Now, the problem with the outfielders, they're all good, but also there's a lot of outfielders in the game, and there tends to be a lot of outfielders that come out quickly. So, generally, outfielders are replaced faster than other positions. It's just the nature of MLB The Show. It happens. Uh, there's just more outfield players to select from. I think the best of the group the one that will make it on your team the longest, I think, is Mickey Mantle. I think his combination of good speed, 82 speed is good, and decent fielding, and pretty good hitting, as well as being a switch hitter, is a combo that can stay in your lineup for a while, because at worst, you can move him to left field, and he can be, you know, you're not upset if he's your seventh place hitter come like May, right? Uh, there will be cards that are better than him, probably relatively quickly, but he is probably the best outfielder of the group, in my opinion. Chase Utley is probably third, if I were to choose. He has a really sweet swing, like I talked about. There is a lot of second basemen, especially in the face of the franchise thing, which we'll do a video on ranking those. That's just not going to come out today, though, because there's 30 of them, and I just simply do not have the time. But Utley, probably ranked third, in my opinion. And then I would go... It's tough, right? Because 99 speed plays anywhere, but also I think this card is replaced quickly. And But he does have use as a pinch runner throughout the year. So I think I would put, nah, I think Vladdy's still better. I think Vladdy's four, in my opinion. His hitting stats are a bit low. His swing does elevate it, but I think in a vacuum, you would still want Mantle over him. And I think you would still want Utley over him. Um, but Utley and Vlad are probably interchangeable at three and four, if I had to guess. And then Ricky Henderson is five, but... Uh, and it's a big butt, and I cannot lie. He's going to be viable throughout the rest of the year, like at least as a pinch runner or defensive replacement until a Ricky Henderson with better speed comes out, or like a Lou Brock or a Buxton or something uh, with better fielding coupled with 99 speed comes out. He's going to be viable for the rest of the year, at least as a pinch runner, because it doesn't get better than 99 speed, 99 fielding. So, that's the list. I'm going to rip a pack in the pack opening. So, that's going to come out. That will probably already be out as you guys are watching this. So, hit subscribe if you guys want to see that. I am probably... It's going to depend on the packs I get before it. I'm leaning towards Utley, personally, because I'm a big Chase Utley fan. Uh, which I know some fan bases are rolling over right now like the unsubscribe and angry comments are happening but that's probably who i'm leaning towards but randy johnson is tempting 
so yeah, that's going to do it for the video, guys. Like and subscribe if you guys did enjoy. And we'll catch you guys in the next one.